prepare-se. O nosso programa de hoje é para estraçalhar corações. Dose tripla de sucesso, a nossa conversa é com três dos maiores ídolos de Hollywood. Kevin Costner, Dennis Quaid e Alec Baldwin. Eles são bonitos, talentosos e extraordinariamente bem-sucedidos. Para comemorar o terceiro ano de Gente de Expressão, três dos mais famosos heróis do cinema americano. Com vocês, Kevin Costner, Dennis Quaid e Alec Baldwin. Kevin, what a pleasure. Thanks. I think uh, with this movie, Wild Earth, uh, do you think you're bringing back that old style, old American style? I don't, I don't know. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the kind of movies that are strong and they have strong storylines. And I think some of the movies maybe you're referring to, or some of the older movies had always really strong storylines and, and needed big, strong actors to do, to do them. I don't know why I say that. I'm a big, strong actor. You know, I, I see myself as, as an actor, you know, and, and a, a storyteller. And I really like to share a good story. That's really what I like to do when someone knows a good joke. Yeah, sure. They always sure. want to share the joke with yeah. the first person they see. And I say, I have a, a great story. I'd love to share it. So when I hear a great story, I, I feel like that's what I do. I want to when make I've it. When I told him. And be, be very careful with it. And do you think you are bringing back some values that maybe Americans are forgetting? I don't know. I don't try to do that on purpose. Mm. Because it's not my job to teach anyone how to act. It's hard enough to know how to act your own life. Yes, well. So I can't be a teacher for, for anyone. But I know what I admire. Mm, which and, is? And I admire strength. And I admire loyalty. And I admire people who try to do the right thing regardless of politics. But at the same time, while Herb, there is a violence. Well, I think it's a tradition in America. And, uh, you know, the things, uh, problems were solved with guns and fighting. And do you think uh, audience love violence in the movie? I don't know. I think they love justified violence. I mean, some people just like any kind of violence. I don't make movies for those kind of people. Mm -hmm. But all of us understand great love. All of us understand anger. All of us understand revenge. And the movies are s caught up in those emotions. And... Um, We, we're a country that took our own country by force. So guns are very much a part of the American experience. We should take them out of our experience now, but they're very much unto us. There are, they, they settled the country. We, we took the country away from people violently. Mm -hmm. We have great appetites, Americans. And like uh, Wyatt Earp, do you believe you have to be tough? You have to have belief in your life. You have to have ideas about things you will do and things that you won't do. And then you have to make up your mind what you're going to do when those ideas are challenged. Mm. Do you bend do you, or do you stand and say, this is what I am, I don't change what I think. If you're my friend, then you're my friend. If this is what I believe, then I believe that, no matter what other people tell me. You have to have a good head to think and to judge for yourself, but you have to be consistent. But the affable guy is killed. He is. I love that word. So. And I warned him. Can, can you be a good heart and s still survive in this world? In this world, you can. In that world, it was difficult. In this business, you can? In, in this business, you can. You don't have to be a killer. What you have to know is what you have to know what you believe and try to stand by it. It might mean you won't work or you won't do some things, but that's okay, you know, in your own mind, if you can be true to yourself. I only do movies where even if you're the bad guy, you understand them. Mm -hmm. Because people, that's why I think movies with sad endings can work. Hollywood likes the good ending. But I think movies, even with sad endings, can work if people understand it. Because even though something makes you very sad, if you understand it, there's great satisfaction in understanding that why two people could not be in love. Those always often make the best love stories when they can't be together. Mm -hmm. That the makes conflict. you it makes you sad, you know. And but you know, traditional thinking would be they have to be together, and you go, no, great love sometimes can't be together. 
and that's sad. And we, you are such a great director. You've done, you know, such a courageous movie like Dances with Wolves. And do you intend to direct more? Yeah, I have uh, my eye on a movie to direct, but I don't know if the movie would be commercial. I know it wouldn't be commercial. What, what kind of story are I, you well, looking Well, it's an for? American story, mm. strictly American and long. Mm. Because I like long movies. <laughs> <laughs> and you are a writer as well. I'm not really a writer. I, I know how to write and I know how to fix things, but I could never call myself a writer like the way Larry is or someone else. I'm not, I'm not a writer that way. Mm. And you are the kind of guy that fight for your dreams. Yeah. And do you think you are in a position now that you really can get whatever you want? I, I've always believed that, even when I was just beginning. I, uh -huh. I'm a hard head. Oh, that's great. I've always thought that, that the power of my argument would be enough. You, so I've only done what I've wanted to do since the big chill. Strong personality. Well, I know what I believe, you know, and I don't get away from what I don't believe. The family makes you feel more secure? I think people who love you, you know, whether they're your family or not, they make you feel secure. And it's nice to have those people around, you know, this unconditional love. Not unconditional, because you have to behave. There has to be some order in your life, but it's, 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 we move to people who love us. I think we ought to just kill them all. You know, Morg, why it's my friend, but I believe I'm beginning to love you. You are playing this wonderful character, Doc Holliday. You, you lost a lot of weight. You know, 43 pounds. It's incredible. I mean, where did you get this determination when you build a character? No, I don't know. I didn't, uh, Larry offered me this role and I did not see myself as Doc Holliday because he was a very frail man. And, uh, but to work with Larry Kasdan, I said yes, everyone wants to work with Larry Kasdan. And, uh, he asked me to lose 10 pounds for the part, but and you have sort of strong... just kept going and kept going. And I felt it was necessary to get into the man's skin to, to feel that way. You always do that. You, mm. you go strong in your aim when you play your character, don't you? I'm obsessive compulsive. For that, so. <laughs> yes. And uh, by the way, what kind of diet you've done? Well, I had 1,200 calories a day, and I'd run five to nine miles every day. <sighs> and. Uh, so I was basically starving, but I had a doctor and a nutritionist. And, and when you, you said you were obsessive, when you do a character, you take it home with you? No. I try to drop it at the set. Uh-huh. Live my life. It helps me to unplug so I can come back to the set fresh. And what was the inspiration to do this character? Well, it was, I saw the gunfight at Okakura when I was a little boy, and I really loved Doc Holliday. I thought he was really cool. And when I got this part, I just, uh, I uh, researched it as much as I could, and uh, I felt, I found Doc Holliday, to, he was known as a gunslinger, a fighter, a very hardened man, but I found him to be a very gentle person who was forced to be that way because of his circumstances of his disease. For instance, he's a killer. You, you've done such different characters, and do you explore si different sides of your own nature when you do? And uh, do you find that um, your killing side or your killing instinct in you? Well, we all have those. We all have that, don't we? You know, that's what's interesting about acting to me is exploring different sides of what it is to be human. You were also an accomplished musician. You've done so many soundtracks for movies. Do you think is music as important as acting for you? Not. Acting is my first love, and that's what I do. And, and music is sort of a side thing. Like I just do it for fun. For instance, when you have a character like you, you've done in Great Balls of Fire, mm. that you can mix things. You are very. You can use your. You can explore, you know, your whole wild nature. Well, that was Jerry Lee Lewis. That was uh -huh. a, yeah. Another story altogether. Do you feel inside of you this wild thing? Well, no, not so much uh, anymore. That was really for that role. And, uh, that was uh, 
I'm a family man now. I've got a little boy. Uh-huh. You know. That's good. This is your side. Uh... It's still there. It's just latent. That's all. Uh-huh. And so, family man, you're married with Meg Ryan. Mm -hmm. And what, what is, in your opinion, uh, makes a relationship last? Laughter. More than anything else. You can make somebody laugh. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it keeps them around. And wh what is the most difficult thing in a relationship? The most difficult thing is uh, consistency, I guess. Huh. Keeping everything fresh. And how do you do this? Just try on a daily basis, I guess. It takes effort. Is it hard when both are actors? No. It's not, not any harder than anybody else's relationship. No, she's a woman, I'm a man, so it's so hard to be, we're not up for the same roles. Uh, <laughs> I'm very proud of her, she's really doing great. And she must very, very, be very proud of you also. And in this business, you have to deal with many rejections. Uh, how do you deal with frustrations? How do you deal with anxiety? Well, the same as anyone else, there's a lot of rejections in life, really. You know, and, uh, Actors, uh, you know, you do a job and then you're out of a job and you're looking for another one. So it's a lot of insecurity involved in that. But that's, I find it sort of normal you know, with my life for some reason. And, it, uh, it doesn't hurt you? Of course it hurts me, you know. How do you I, 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 react? You get, a, you get a skin. Have any time that you thought about giving up? No, never. Never? No, this is what I love doing. I'd be doing, I'd be an actor if, you know, if, if, for free, really, if that was the case. I just love to do it. What do you do when things don't go well? You know, don't meet your expectation? I'm trying not to have such high expectations in this world. Alec Baldwin, the shadow. <laughs> La Sombra. Are you ready for part two? If they were to do a part two, that would be great, yeah. Do you like the set? Sure. Or? I have a lot of ideas now for part two. Uh. You know, since this movie was finished, I've been, I've been thinking, so I would love to do another one, sure. Uh, do you feel pressure when you open a movie? Do you feel oh, yeah. They put a lot of, lots of pressure sure. on you. Well, you want it to do well, yeah. Mm. Of course you do. And a lot of movies come out, you know, people work very, very hard. And, uh, and a lot of movies that are good movies that people work very hard from, they just go, and they don't do well. I saw you on stage on Broadway, a streetcar. Did you come see the show? Yeah, You're you kidding. Great. No, oh, did I you was really? There. Oh, wow. Sure. Thank you. You said that you get so down sometimes about doing movies that you need the theater as a medicine. That's true. Sometimes. Because movies are hard that way. You don't get a lot of. Uh, um, of that gratification because there's no audience and then if the movie doesn't do well and today you know it's uh, very uh, unforgiving when movies don't do well when they don't do well it's uh, it can be tough uh, you know? what kind of <clears throat> reaction do you feel when movies don't yeah, do well yeah well, I'm very disappointed mm. yeah I mean if there's a movie that you don't think it's gonna do well uh, then that's one thing. Or if there's a movie that you're not sure that maybe it could do well, then that's one thing. But if there's a movie you really believe in and you really think it's going to do well and it doesn't yeah. do well, Ooh, right it's there. terrible. Expectation. I did a movie one time. I, th I thought it was going to be the greatest movie in the world. Uh, and uh, what, which... I did the movie Prelude to a Kiss with Meg uh -huh. Ryan because I had done the play off Broadway. And I thought it was the most beautiful movie in the world. I thought it was just a beautiful story. Mm. I thought it was a great love story. I mean, I was rearranging things in my house to make room for, I was going to win an Oscar for this movie. I thought it was going to be the greatest movie in the world. And yeah. I thought we were all going to win an Oscar. And the movie just went, that's, that's what I did. I went, wow. <laughs> it was over. What, what, what is the worst thing that you have to put up in this business? Being married to a famous woman. Oh, really? Being married to a famous woman. This is the toughest thing? Well, only because Kim is such a lightning rod, you know, for people's attention. Uh -huh. Because she's, uh, and when you go out in public, there's no mistaking who it is, no matter how many disguises she wears. I've been in New York City where I will walk down the street 
and I, I don't wear any sunglasses, I don't wear a hat, I just walk down the street, I say, this is my home, I live here, I'm not going to hide, and I'll be walking down Central Park West, and Kim will have a scarf around her mouth and glasses and a hat, and people will walk by us and go, hey, Kim, how are you? <laughs> I mean, they just know that it's her. So she is very, um, uh, she draws a lot of attention. You are a very brave, very outspoken person. Do you have any difficulties because of this? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Sure. Um. I'm getting less so, though. I'm, I'm, I'm getting cured of that. You know, you have to, uh, you know, you, you can't be, uh, you, you, you have to be able to afford certain virtues, I think, as time goes on. But uh, w w one thing that I don't do, though, is that I, I'm still very involved in some things that I'm involved with politically, you know, I mean, certain causes, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Whether it's raising money for this kind of a charity or working on this certain kind of an issue. Censorship issues are very important to me here in the United States. Freedom of expression for artists and things like that. So I, uh, I, could, I don't think I could ever retreat from that. You are a very real person. All the interviews are. Uh, how do you keep your feet on the ground? I guess I just don't take the movie business very seriously. Because mm. I think if you do, what if it all went away? I mean, you can be, I think some people, they, it, it becomes like a, a drug for them, you know? And I understand that. I can see where that happens. I mean, periodically, I'm the same way. Sometimes I become like I, I, all, I, yeah, all I want is, the, is yeah, success in the movies is what I want, you know? Uh -huh. and, uh, and if you get that, that's great. And if you don't, yeah, I think that that's, I think that that's great. Also, you just have to learn to uh, to do the best you can. You said that it's difficult when you go out with Kim, and wh what about when you work together, you guys? Well, the last time that we worked together, it was a great pleasure. Um, the movie that I did with her, uh, when we did the remake of The Getaway, uh, I. Uh, it was the best experience I've ever had making a movie. I would say that doing The Shadow was tied for the, being the best experience I've ever had making a movie mm -hmm. because uh, we were all making the same movie and everybody was really, really together and enjoying themselves because there's so many people involved in making a film that if, if you're not all doing the same movie, it can be very difficult. I believe that, that love is a very powerful thing and that... Um, uh, and it, and it can be incredibly um, positive and negative, you know, love. It's a powerful, it's a powerful thing that's being moved around. I, I am a romantic, I, I, I love great words. Words can move me, music can move me. Mm -hmm. A great passage can move me, mm -hmm. an image. What, what do you want to reach now? Um, I, I would like, um, to become who I'm supposed to become in my life. And, and um, that's just my own journey, you know, and maybe it doesn't involve movies. Maybe, maybe I am responsible for something else later. Besides the actor, are you a guy that work on your personality, on your skills, on your, you know, your in, inside of you? I try not to concentrate too much on myself because everybody concentrates so much on me that pretty soon all I think is me, 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 you know. Um, but I would like, I would like to make sure that when my life's done that I've done the things that I wanted to do and was capable of doing. I think you fulfill everything. Good, thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. I would say, yeah, I am ambitious. I try not to have such high expectations that way I'm really wind up very pleasantly surprised or not so disappointed. What is your aim? What do you intend to reach now? Uh, to live an authentic life, I guess. You want something uh, calm or, you know? Just an authentic life. Just, you know, to live my life day do, by day. Do you work in your spiritual side? Mm, yeah. Sure do, on a daily basis. Do um, you have a special religion? Or? Well, I believe in it all, really. Everything. Do you know, Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, it's all the same. A mix of everything. Okay. 
So thank you very much, Dennis. Thank you, man. For your thank interview. You thank All you right. very much. What do you think uh, is the best thing that people love in you? God, I don't know. Um, I think. Uh, what does Kim love in you? She thinks I'm funny. She thinks I'm funny. And um, I. Uh, I guess for an audience, I don't know. I guess the same for me as it is for a lot of people, that they believe you. That if, when you when you act in a film, I think the actors who are the most successful are ones that you believe them. They really commit. They really get in there and they really give their heart, and their soul to to the to the to the movie and to the part. And I think people appreciate that. I think I think if there's anything people appreciate about me, as with other actors, is that I try hard. I give it all I've got. I hope to see you always try hard. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. You too. Thank you.